Defense Team of uh, Dr. Adeyemi press conference, so that we'll be able to intimate you and also the general, the uh, members of the general public, of the current situation uh, of things, and uh, for them to, to know where we are concerning his case. Uh, we are all aware that Dr. Obadiah Lafia was invited by the Department of State Security uh, Services Plateau State Command mm -hmm. for an interview, investigation, and interrogation, a respite of an interview he granted for a local FM radio station in Lagos on the 9th day of August 2020 on issues related to internal security of Nigeria. His interview focused on the insistent killings and ethnic cleansing in his homeland of Southern Kaduna and nationwide insecurity. The interview generated several comments and interest from different quarters, local, national, and global. And after that, actually that meeting, he appeared and he was interviewed, he was interrogated, and his statement was recorded. Uh, after six hours of interaction and interface with the members or the officials of the DSS, he was released on bail that very day. And in the same vein, he was re-invited to appear at the DSS Plateau State Command on the 17th day of August 2020 for another interaction, which he also uh, honored the same invitation. He was there. And after like 40 minutes, he was allowed to go home. But however, it is with the greatest shock and consternation that we want to use this avenue as the legal defense team of Dr. Obadiah Milafia to bring to the notice and knowledge of the general public that another letter of invitation was served on him on the 21st day of August 2020 at his residence by the Nigerian police force through the office of the DIG, Force CID Abuja for him to appear on Monday, 24th day of August, 2020, which is today for an interview. And that same letter is even a photocopy. We want to announce to the members of the press, our countrymen and women, and indeed the entire world, that this morning we have served the Inspector General Police, DIG, First Criminal Investigation Department, and the signatory to, of that said letter of invitation, one DSP, Umar Maman Sanda, by substituted means through the Commissioner of Police Plateau State Command, having obtained a court order. What we are saying is that as I speak to you now, Dr. Obadiah Melafia had already filed an action in court. We are praying the Honorable Court to make judicial pronouncement on the letter of invitation served on him. We are equally subjecting the invitation made by the force, by the office of the DIG, Force Criminal Investigation Department Abuja, to appear, for him to appear for an interview under judicial scrutiny. We strongly believe that it is significant to hear the decision of the court on these German issues. It is necessary also for the office of the DIG to wait for the judicial verdict in order to know whether it is appropriate and in tandem with our extra laws for the Nigerian police to invite Dr. Obadiah Milafia in the midst of an ongoing investigation by the DSS on a matter that is related to internal security. It is correct that to say that the case of Dr. Obadiah Milafia as a result of the service of the letter on him by the Nigerian police force has assumed a different dimension. It is unfortunate to note that the case is now characterized with undeniable elements of intimidation, harassment, persecution, and witch hunt. We, will want, we stand to be corrected. However, it is difficult to deduce, not to deduce rather, and if possible conclude that the invitation of Dr. Obadiah Melafia by the Nigerian police force is pregnant with sinister, clandestine, and surreptitious intention since the DSS is the only statutory body empowered by law to investigate Dr. Obadiah Melafia, which investigation they have commenced. We are calling on the Inspector General Police to allow justice a rule of law prevail in this matter. Now that Dr. Obadiah Melafia had filed an action in court in line with the tenets of our constitutional democracy, 
judicial system, principle of human rights, and doctrine of the rule of law, the Nigerian police force is required by law to hold on or to stay action until court makes a final pronouncement. I want to use this avenue to say on behalf of the legal team that when he was served with a letter, the team had carefully analyzed the said letter and we have come to a conclusion to file an action on his behalf, having instructed him us to do so. Now, one of the cross of their invitation is premised on the fact that, and in that same letter caption, investigation activities, that the office of the DIG Force Criminal Investigation wishes to notify you that Nigerian police force is investigating a case in your name, where your name featured prominently. In the light of the above, and consequently, it is critically imperative to state that the case the Nigerian police is investigating, where the name of Dr. Obadiah Milafia purportedly featured prominently, cannot be unconnected and unrelated with the case the DSS is investigating against him, which borders on internal security. It is sacrosanct to note that the DSA is the only statutory body empowered by law to investigate alleged crime against internal security, not Nigerian police. We want to redress, not Nigerian police force. Section 3, subsection A, of the Security Agency Act eloquently stipulates this position. In consonance with the said provision, the DSS had a Zoom investigation in the matter for the purpose of clarity and emphasis. The DSS is still investigating Dr. Obadiah Milafia in respect of the said matter. However, we have approached the court to file an action, like earlier mentioned, to enforce his fundamental rights to personal liberty and fair hearing and enshrine as enshrined in our constitution. We want to call on the DSS, uh, rather Nigerian police force, particularly Inspector General of Police, DIG Force Criminal Investigation Department, to refrain from inviting and requesting him to appear for now until the court, the case is determined by the court. In this case, Plateau State High Court of Justice. We want to say this, that that is the law and that is the procedure. Once you, you desire to embark on a particular act, and the person who you're going to carry this act, that particular action against, has approached the court, what is required of you is to hold on to state action. Courts actually frown at what we call self help. So Nigerian police force is not in any way now having filed an action for them to continue in order to see that he must appear by force or coerce him to be there. We are looking at even the invitation letters out of him as an unlawful intrusion because DSS, they are already investigating the matter. We want to say this, that we are calling on the Nigerian police and urging them to desist from taking any action that is unlawful, that is unconstitutional, illegal, prejudicial, and inimical to the person and constitutional right of Dr. Obadiah Milafia until Plateau State High Court of Justice makes judicial pronouncement on the matter. We do sincerely pray and hope that the Nigerian police force will heed to this clarion call and allow the constitution, the law, and the supremacy of the rule of law to prevail in this case. We want to also convey this, that our client, Dr. Obadiah Milafia, who is an international civil servant of unblemished blemished record, a law-abiding Nigeria citizen with no record of any offense throughout his illustrious career and is ready to cooperate with the security and law enforcement agency, which cooperation must be on the basis of due process and the rule of law. He asked us to thank all the citizens of this country, both at home and in diaspora, who stood by him in this time of trial. Thank you and God bless us. All.